this is Jessica and welcome to Big Delicious Life. I'm out here today at Middlebury Farms and today we're gonna make a really, really delicious white chicken summer chili. Now, I love this recipe. I know a lot of you think chili, winter comfort food. This is awesome to make for a summer day. It uses up lots of fresh veggies that you're gonna find in your box and also at the farmer's market. So let's get started. We're also going to use the Instant Pot, which I know a lot of you have those at home. So this is very quick very easy and perfect for a weeknight dinner. The first thing we're gonna do is dice up an onion. Uh, so the way I like to dice up an onion is you always want to keep the root intact uh, and just slice off the end just like this and then give your onion a peel. When you keep the root intact of the onion it makes it much easier to dice without it falling apart. Okay so we're gonna dice up our onion and what you want to do is just cut down through the root right there and then turn it on its side and get a couple of cuts like this and then some this way and then this way you can get a really good dice see how easy that is I'm gonna get go ahead and get the instant pot set up and get that going so it can warm. Um, so we'll put it on saute function and then we're just gonna coat the bottom of it in olive oil. Just a few tablespoons, like two or three, and let that heat up. Now while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my garlic. So our olive oil is going on saute in the Instant Pot and we're just going to get our garlic chopped up here. I love cooking in the Instant Pot. You don't have to do it in the house. You can bring it outside on the porch. Just super easy. Our garlic is all minced up. We're going to go ahead and get started with our onion. So we're just going to throw them in the pot. I love the Instant Pot. It's just like dump everything in there. It's so easy, so quick, and so convenient for a weeknight meal. Okay, so you wanna do your onions first and just give those a little bit of time to saute in here until they're just starting to get fragrant and turn a little bit translucent. Then we're gonna add in all of this delicious garlic. So just throw that right in there with your onions. So our garlic and onions are going. Next, we're gonna add our seasonings. So to the garlic and onions, I have a few tablespoons of chili powder. I have some cumin and some oregano. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. So we're gonna give this a stir. And then we want to give these spices just a few minutes in here just to cook up with the onions. You always want to give your spices a little bit of time on the heat so that way they can flower and become very flavorful. All right, so we've got our onions, our garlic, chili powder, cumin, oregano, salt and pepper and going in there and it smells delicious. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add our liquid and I just have a carton of chicken broth here. This is about four cups. And to this, I'm gonna add two cans of white beans. Now you can use great northern beans, that's what I have here, or cannellini beans. You can actually also use chickpeas. That would work really nicely in here too. So whatever it is that you have in your pantry is just fine. And then over here, I just have some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And we're just gonna grab our tongs and we're just gonna put those right down here into the liquid. They look very happy down there in our chili. And I'm gonna put this aside and then I'm going to turn off the saute function. I'm gonna put the lid on and then get in here so that you can see this. So what you wanna do is make sure that your knob is turned to ceiling. That's how you're gonna get it to pressurize. So you wanna make sure that your knob is set to ceiling and then you're gonna turn it on manual. So manual is right here. You're gonna push that and you're gonna set your timer for 12 minutes 
and then you're just going to let that hang out. It's going to let you know when it's done. So while our chicken is in there cooking with our liquid and our beans, we're going to get the vegetables ready that are going to go in here. So I have here a few zucchini. I think I'm going to use two. Now it's summer, so zucchini are everywhere. You probably have more zucchini than you know what to do with. So this is a great recipe to put some of your zucchini in there and it just adds such a nice fresh summer flavor, um, which is why we call it a summer chili. So I like to cut it lengthwise and then cut it into quarters like this. And then you can just run your knife along here and you have some nice bite-sized pieces. So we've got our zucchini all ready. We have our Instant Pot getting ready to pressurize right there and cook up that chicken. Uh, we are now going to get our greens ready. For this recipe, you can use any type of sturdy green. Today, I'm gonna use this beautiful rainbow chard. Um, you could use kale, you could even wilt in some spinach. So you don't really have to do much for this. All you wanna do is take off these fibrous stems and then you want to just kind of, the way I like to do it is roll it up like that and cut this into bite-sized pieces. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the rainbow chard when it has those little pops of color. Now the reason why we want to get them into small pieces is because we're not really going to do too much cooking to these. We want these fresh tender baby greens to still have some bite and some texture to them. So we're just going to wilt them in after our chicken and our beans cook up. So let's talk about the other things that are going to go in here. I also have here some grilled corn from last night's dinner that I just cut off the cob and that is going to go amazing in here. So we're also going to put that in there with it. So our Instant Pot is on. It's pressurizing. It's gonna take about another 10 or 15 minutes for that to be done. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen and grab our garnishes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed a few more things from the kitchen and this is what we're gonna garnish our chili with. So I have some fresh cilantro, some sour cream, and a lime. So I love cilantro and I love sprinkling this on top of this chili. So really all you have to do with cilantro is just go like this and make sure you get the leaves off. And you can get a little bit of stem in there too. That's where a lot of the flavor is. But you don't have to worry about going in there and picking off all of the individual leaves because that takes too much time and nobody wants to do all of that. So we just get it like that and then just run our knife through it and give it a rough chop. So I have cilantro blowing all over this windy table out here, which is amazing because if it was up to me, I'd put cilantro on everything. So this is perfect. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients prepped. While our chicken's finishing up in the Instant Pot, let's just head on out to the field and see what Farmer Pete is up to. I bet he can show us where we got that Swiss chard from this morning. Hey Pete. Hi Jessica. Uh, I was just hoping that you could show everybody where we got that Swiss chard that we were just using and maybe show us how we get it out of the ground. I've actually never right. harvested it before so I'm really curious. You're, you're in the right place. All right. <laughs> our Swiss chard uh, plot. We, we cut the bottom, the bottom leaves on the side and we slice it at the bottom just like that. And we save the little baby leaves because in a week they'll become larger leaves. So we kind of thinning the plant out. So you never actually pull the whole plant out of the ground like you do with the lettuce. You just kind of come by and trim it up and then the same plant stay in the ground for the whole season? Yes. How convenient. Yes, it's a very nice crop to grow. Okay. Farmer. And then also like about how many leaves come in a bunch. So, I mean, I can imagine this is pretty time consuming actually to get the Swiss chard out there, even though there's a lot of it. It seems like there's a lot of work that goes into cutting each individual leaf and then bunching it up. It does take time, but we put about 12 leaves in each bunch. Okay, cool. So you have a nice size bunch here and it's... I just love the rainbow wow. colors. It's so beautiful yes. and it's delicious. Yes. Cool. Well, let's get some into this oh. basket. Thanks so much. Of course. Chili will be ready in a minute. I'll see you up there. All right. Can't wait to try some. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the rest of this Swiss chard home with me and make something else delicious. 
So our chicken is all done in the Instant Pot. It's been natural releasing now for 15 minutes. Uh, I recommend that you let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes natural release. And then we're just gonna finish by switching it to vent. Make sure you always do this with the dish towel because you're gonna get hot steam coming out of the top. Okay, so the steam is all released. It smells amazing, even out here in the outdoors with all of the wind. We're gonna take the top off and see what kind of delicious goodness that we have inside. So we just give this a twist. Oh man, does this look great. I'm gonna put the lid down right over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our chicken breasts which are perfectly cooked and we're just gonna put them on the chicken on the chicken on the cutting board right here <laughs> hilarious all right so we'll pull out our chicken breasts just like this this is gonna be awesome and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our veggies into the hot liquid and let them cook just gently kind of wilt in there we don't want to overcook our veggies they're so fresh and tender that you really just want to let them like cook a little bit in this hot liquid so we'll go ahead and put in all of that yummy Swiss chard and all of this delicious baby zucchini and then we also have this grilled corn from last night's dinner that I've cut off the cob. I'm gonna dump that in there too. Looks delicious, smells even better. And then I'm just gonna pop the top back on. Like that. <laughs> and we're gonna shred up our chicken. So really this is super easy. You just put it on a cutting board and just go at it with two forks getting all of this delicious goodness shredded up and it'll break up more when it's in the liquid so as long as you get them broken up a little bit that should be just fine now we're gonna pop the top off oh yeah those veggies are softening up already and then we'll just take this and we'll mix our chicken back in here with it give this a stir this is looking yummy. Okay. So we're just gonna pop the top back on there. And we're gonna leave it on the keep warm setting for like another five or 10 minutes. And then we'll serve it up and garnish it in a really, really delicious way. Okay, so our veggies have been hanging out here in this warm, liquid, delicious concoction that we have going on in here. So I'm gonna open up the lid and show you how to serve it up. First, I'm gonna cut up this lime because we're gonna give it a little squeeze of fresh lime juice just to add a little pop of citrus, which I love. I'm gonna grab a ladle over here and just serve it up. Get some of that broth. Some chicken, plenty of veggies, some of those beans. So the way I like to serve it up is just with a little bit of a squeeze of lime, some of this delicious fresh cilantro, and a little dollop of sour cream. Now you can leave this off, but making it a little creamy just makes it so much more delicious. So just a little plop. Let's give it a taste. I like to stir mine up like that. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Those veggies just taste incredibly fresh. It's flavorful. It's got that comforting chili flavor that we all love. It's perfect for summer. You're just in time for the chili. All right. Why don't you give that a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta stir it all up, get that sour cream mixed in there. Perfect. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Big Delicious Life out here at Middlebury Farms. We're gonna be out here all summer picking fresh organic veggies and showing you what to do with all the ingredients you're gonna find in your farm box and at the farmer's market this summer. So if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe. See you next time.